So some absolute belters in that lot, and congratulations to this year's Golden Boot winner. He's won it for the second time, Jamie McLaren, and he's with me right now. Jamie, well done, mate. You've had a bit of time to have this sink in, winning another Golden Boot. What does it mean to you and, and the people around you uh, winning this award? Yeah, thank you, Adam. Um, it means a lot. Obviously, being a striker, you grow up and you know you pride yourself on, on scoring goals. And um, you know I have to thank, obviously, Eric and, and Pika, who were the coaches this season, and um, who really drove me to a new level and the guys behind me who produced the ammunition for me and um, pure and simply I wouldn't be sitting on the goals that I have um, if it wasn't for those blokes so um, a huge credit to them but you know aside from football it's it's your family and, and the ones that sacrifice all this time and you know we've had to sacrifice a lot and you know my partner Eva and um, it's, it's been a difficult time but uh, the support I've got is, is, is unreal and um, I have to credit all those people who have been around and, and helped me achieve this this goal. Yeah, I bet you were happy to get back to Melbourne despite the disappointment of the grand final. But just on your, your goals, mate, plenty to choose from. What gives you most satisfaction? What type of goal gives you most satisfaction? Or you don't care if it's from 16 uh, metres away or 16 centimetres away? Um, look, my goals are probably the... My favourite goals are probably the ugliest goals. Um, there was one at, uh, against West United where it kind of trickled over the line. But, you know, I pride myself on making sure, you know, the moves finish when the ball's in the back of the net and... Um, I like to follow up on, on every single action and I'm pessimistic in the sense that I'm always, um, you know, preparing for the worst situation and, um, and preparing for mistakes. So, uh, you look, I pride myself on that and I've worked on it. And, um, you know, some of my games based on instinct. And um, like I said, my teammates have produced uh, some great crosses and, and some great through balls for me this season too. And just on Melbourne City as a whole, you're obviously really comfortable there being back home from where you're from in Melbourne and looking forward to next season, the seasons beyond and, and getting up to Barisha levels in terms of overall goal scoring rates in uh, the A-League? Yeah, obviously Bess is a fantastic striker in this league and, and well proven and, and, you know, he was chomping up my bit this season again and, and we always have a bit of a joke. It was um, it was nice that we shared it a couple of years ago and uh, look, it's, it's a fantastic league to be in. I think um, I'm quite happy. Uh, I love playing for my, my boyhood club, if you want to call it, obviously being a a proud Melbourne boy and um, having my support so close to me. And um, you play your best football when you're the happiest. And at this point in time, uh, I am. So, yeah, I have to credit uh, Melbourne City who have made me feel so welcome, but also um, the City Football Group who have looked after us, not only myself, but but us as players uh, through this difficult time and um, giving us the support that we need. Jamie, congratulations once again on a fantastic season and uh, rest up, a little bit of rest now and look forward to seeing you uh, try and score more goals and probably will score more goals next season. Cheers, thank you.